day viewers i welcome you to my channel once again today i'll be showing you how to make a mini dress from an old top so i'm going to use this old top this dress is going to be made for a two-year-old baby so this is the old top that i'm going to use to trace it out so i'm going to trace the neck now so this is the back as you can see so let's stretch it. This is the whole length of the cloth, and this is the back, and this is the front. So I'll fold it into two like this. After folding into two, I'll place it somewhere. And this is the cloth I want to use, the new cloth. You fold it into two, then you fold it once again into four. So then I'll place the cloth I want to cut out. The folded edge, you note it. So that the folded edge will be facing this folded edge also so then you stretch it on it this dress will be in such a way that the end here i'm going to add a ruffle i'm going to add ruffles at this end so the outcome i will show you later on as we go so as i folded this i don't need any measurement again the only thing i'm going to do is to trace it out so this is just a do-it-yourself thing. So the back is what I'm tracing out now. Then you had like, you leave some space. As you can see, I'm leaving like half inch space. On top also, you leave some space. You follow the pattern of the old one. Then, as you can see, I'm tracing the armhole now. The reason why I'm leaving some inches, I'm leaving like half inch so that I'll use that one to do my uh, joining or to pipe it. So I'm also going to leave like half inch at this side too. So after tracing the new one out from the old one, this is what we have. You no, know, I told you the other time that I'm going to leave half inch. I'll come out by half inch. That one will serve as my seam allowance so for the neck for the front neck this is the front neck the front neck will be lower and the back neck will be higher so this is the back neck cut out already and this is the front neck as it is here so i've traced out the front neck and the back neck this is the front neck the front neck is lower while the back neck is higher so you notch the middle as I notched it, notch the middle. After notching it, the next thing to do is that I told you I'm going to have add like a peplum, like a skirt to this. And the skirt will be a short, a mini skirt that will have ruffles. So I'm going to do that now. So this is the skirt. So the measurement that is here is the waist measurement of the baby. The waist measurement, the waist circumference is 20 inches. So I double the waist measurement, which is 20 inches. So I'm going to gather it on the waist. So this is what I've done. By doubling the waist measurement, I will have 40 inches altogether. So what is here is 42 inches. Adding 2 inches at allowance to for the sewing allowance. So I have this. And the width of this, the length is 42. And the width is 6 and a half, six and a half inches. The 6 and a half is five inches for the normal length plus one and a half which is the hemming allowance and the sewing allowance so i have half inch for the sewing to join to the to the upper part of the top here and one inch to hem so with this the next thing to do is to cut the two nets I'm going to use a tool net and this is where the ruffles come in. This tool net, I'm going to cut it straight. So, the width of this tool net, I'm going to pleat or gather on this. I'm going to gather it on this piece, piece of fabric. So, the, the width is two and a half inches. So, I'm going to mark two and a half inches all through. And I'll cut it in a straight line. 
So I'm going to follow this. So I'll use this one to get a template. I'll cut this piece on and on like that. So this is what I will now come and pleat. If you want to make ruffles, there are different ways in which you can make ruffles. You can decide to pleat by pleating it half inches on top of each other. Half inch like this and it will go on and on. You can pleat half inch like this and others will come under it. So, or what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to do the pleated ruffle. The one I will do is the gathered ruffle. I'm going to sew with a gathered foot. I'm going to I'm going to sew now using a loose stitch. So the loose stitch I'm, I'm going to sew by half inch on top. I will leave half inch. I will now sew with a loose stitch. After sewing with a loose stitch, I will gather it. So the length of this of each strand of this two net, the length of each strand is 60 as you can see is the whole of my people is 60 the length of each strand is 60 so i'm going to gather each length i will gather it by the time i gather it i'll gather it into 20 inches each each strand i'm going to gather it into 20 inches then i'll place it on this main fabric so you will see i'll go and do that one on the machine now So what we want to do now is that I want to use a gathered stitch to gather the ruffles. So I'm going to start by placing my the needle here. I will leave half inch before I place the needle as you can see the half inch is there. So I'm, go I'm not going to reverse. I'll just sew straight. I'll just go like that. I'm using a loose stitch to stitch it. So I will go on like that. Till I get to the end of this strand. So I'm not going to reverse as I told you. Then I will cut it. What I'm going to do now is to, you know, I told you that the length of each strand is 60 inches so by the time i pull this thread i'm going to gather it into 20 inches each so that's what i will do so as you can see i'm trying to pull i'll just pull you pull a strand then i'll gather it i'll pull it i'll continue to pull it pull it gather it on and on like that as you can see the ruffles are forming gradually Then you must be very careful because we are dealing with a light material so that the thread will not cut. You can also go to the other end and pull it also. Then as I'm pulling it, I, I, I must make sure that it is equal length, that it, the gathered part is equal, that a, pl a place will not be fuller than the other. It must not be fuller than each other, it must be equal. So, I'm going to gather it on and on like that, as you can see. So, I'll gather it until I have my 20 inches, 20 inches ruffle. So, now after the gathering, this is the 20 inches ruffle, as you can see. I've gathered this one and if I'm I'm going to measure it now and you will see that it is 20 inches so starting from here to the extreme end as you can see can you see the 20 inches the rough food has been gathered the 60 inches have been gathered into 20 inches so 
The next thing to do is to place it and start gathering it on the skirt part. I've marked this. What I did to this is that I divided the lines by, I divided it into one and a half inches. I have one and a half inches here. I have half inch here. One and a half inch here. One and a half inch here. One and a half inch here. So that everything will be equivalent to each other by the time I place this here. So, the next thing to do is to place it here. As you can see. Then, then stitch it on. Stitch it on it. You can reverse. I'm going to follow the line. So the stitching goes on and on like that till I get to the end. So the next thing is to place the second ruffle. So I'm following the mark so that such that this the first one will cover the second one. As you can see, the ruffle is forming. So I'm going to stitch following the line that I marked. It must be on a straight line. So the next one is to place the third, no, we are placing four. The third will come under this. So this is the third. The sewing will go on and on. Everything is done in such a way that it will cover each other. To cover one so the 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 fourth ruffle is what i i placed now you place it in such a way that the next one the one that is up will cover the one that is down so i will start by sewing And the sewing will go on and on on a straight line. So this is the this is the end result of the ruffle. So... You yeah, are welcome back. So for the sleeve, I'm going to use another template for the sleeve also because I want to fix a long sleeve. So I'm going to use this, this material. So you fold into two like this, then you also fold again. So it has been folded into four right now. So you place the folded end of the sleeve, you place it, then I'm going to trace it out. I'm using this type of material because I like this sleeve, so I prefer to trace this type of sleeve out. So you leave half inch here, so that you will use that one to turn this end inside. So I'm going to put half inch at the side also. This will serve as my sewing allowance. Then when I get here, I'm going to... So the next thing to do is to... Just, you continue the tracing. After tracing this piece, you trace the armhole. Also by half inch. You trace the armhole too. And the armhole is traced by... You know, this, this is like this before. You are going to fold it backward to trace the armhole. By half inch. 
also. Then, since the shape is marked out now, the next thing is to cut it out to get the sleeve. So after cutting out the sleeve, this is the result. This is what you have for each sleeve. Then, after that, you are going to fold into two and mark the middle so that you will be able to know the middle. So we have each sleeve now. I'm going to attach it to the clothes. Then we have our ruffle dress ready. If you like our videos, kindly like and share. You can also subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. Leave your comments in the comment section and I will attend to it as soon as possible. Thank you for always being there. Bye.